Hello. What's the use of poetry? Poetry, as Auden famously wrote in his tribute to W.B. Yeats in 1939, just before the outbreak of the war, poetry makes nothing happen. It survives in the valley of its own making. And yet, if you look to one of the countries that suffered more than any other in the 20th century, the Soviet Union, the poets, many of whom were chewed up by Stalin and his horror, uh, were of immense importance to a great many of the Russian people uh, who circulated their poems in Samizdat uh, and who needed to know that what they were going through had been witnessed could be encompassed in words. I'm going to read a short poem by one of the great poets of 20th century Russia, Marina Tsvetaeva, whose story is unspeakably awful. Uh, she experienced, of course, the First World War, uh, the revolution, uh, in which her little daughter died. She gave her over to, a fun uh, to an orphanage because she hoped that was the only way that she could feed her child, and her child still died. Her husband uh, and son were sent off to the gulags. Her husband died there, and she herself committed suicide in 1941, having been exiled to the far east of Siberia. For writing poems and doing some of that writing in uh, Central Europe rather than in the Soviet Union. Marina Tsvetaeva was a great visionary poet, and this short poem asks what the source of poetry is, and I think it locates it in the same place as the source of all creation, all that exists. Poems Grow by Marina Tsvetaeva. Poems grow in the same way as stars and roses, or beauty of no use to a family. To all the wreaths and apotheoses, one answer. From where has this come to me? We sleep, and suddenly moving through flagstones, the celestial four-petaled guest appears. O oh world, grasp this! By the singer, in sleep, are opened the star's laws and the formula of the flowers.